ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions and my first ever six star gameplay video. And the honors go to Dolph Ziggler, the show off. And I'm going to be showcasing some movesets for some of the oldie characters in the game. And we are starting off with Dolph and his greasy old hair. So. Anyways, he's got no gear. Y'all have seen Dolph the show off a million times. We'll just briefly look over. He is an important trainer, only to the 5K level. Most people wouldn't bring him to 6-star, but if you're curious, let me fill that void. Uh, moves, 6-star move. The DDT, 7-charge green. Deal, 69,000 damage. You choose 6 gems to make into blue gems. So, that actually gives him something viable to work with now. So because you could choose blue, you also have the blue seven charge running corner splash makes seven random green gems and the headstand chin lock 11 charge green sub play six sub gems do 21,000 damage for six turns. So it's actually can maybe work. We're going to pull our move point trainer and maybe use a prop to get started on this because otherwise, uh, the damage would be much lower, and the cycle of the match would take a long time. I'm not sure I'm going to play the whole match out anyways. There's no six-star opponents to go against. This is not me trying to make Dolph, you know, try to say that he's fantastic or anything like that. It's just uh, showcasing his new moveset and what he can do with it. So, I put Angle and Bray on there and Bruno. Uh, Bray gives us three more sub turns. Angle gives us 50% extra damage. So does Bruno and one extra turn. So 43,000 damage for 10 turns. So we can do 430k damage with the sub. That's a respectable damage output for at least for a one move. And we can cycle the blue move with our green shoes and then hope that the eight random gems, Hall of Fame Hall there is giving us an extra green gem. So eight random green gems. Now, if we look at the titles, I went double fury. I ain't holding no pins with this move set. So armor wasn't really in the cards for me here. And I got the La Familia plate on here. So whenever we break three or more blue gems, we gain three green MP. So now when we choose the blue there, it will give us three green MP back. So we're only going to need to get one match to come out of the random green move. So we're going to hope for the best here. We're going to go out here against Randy on the road. If the match will load. Come on. Six star Ziggler. Let's go. Any second now. There we go. Okay, here we go. He's here to show the world. We got 18 million health. 18 million. Oh, look at. Would you look at that? They knew we pulled. They knew we pulled our move point trainer. They had to, right? Look at that. We get to start our cycle up. Just like that. We're going to hit six sub gems here. And we're going to get that damage. You know, you just need to put them so they won't be broke. Because he gets no effect for leaving sub gems on the board. So, they don't color turn. They don't turn into any special gems. And I love that animation. I meant like Ziggler doing that is fantastic. That's one of my favorite animations in the game right there. That's super cool. I'm going to do that move to Drunk Johnny one time on a, on a stream. It's going to happen. Okay. So, of course, he gets a black match straight out of it. So, we could choose blue. We only need one there. So what I would do with this is try to break some green gems if possible, I guess. I can break green there. I don't have a lot of options. I can get one green gem out of that. Plus I'll get three for the La Familia. I mean, I might as well just hit him hard. Because it's going to cascade a pin anyway, so. I 
Okay, we need this to hit, though. This is the wild card move here. We Eight random green gems. We need something to happen here. We need something to happen here. And nothing. We needed that to happen right there. That's all right. Luckily, Randy doesn't have very low charge here. Now, if you're going up against another six star, trying to take 18 million damage like this, it's not going to be a good play. But if something changes the meta of the game, if we get some way to add like some crazy submission damage, then somebody with a 10 turn sub will be great. That's what I keep asking for. I think it's a, it's like a natural progression. If we got some way to like flat damage buff up sub turns that uh that could really change things for a lot of people but maybe wishful thinking on my part but that's what i want to see um uh, i'm just gonna take green while the match is there Rather than hit the blue move again there. I'd rather keep the blue move charge and we will hit the we will hit the sub again. And we're taking his health down. I mean it works. Move set's actually working. We will go back and we will take a look at the rest of his move values and everything as soon as we get out of this match. But I really, even at six star, like, I'm not sure there's going to be anything else for him. I'm going to go ahead and make the random greens first. See if we can get that sub charged up again here somehow. I mean, we can. I can just take the match on the board because the sub's the only thing we have putting out the real damage. And he's just melting that health now. Okay, still no green cascades. Of course not. Why would there be, right? Let's see if we get some luck out of this. Oh, look at that, 405K, and that's going to do it. That's going to do it for Randy, who didn't get any offense in there. And Dolph showing off the new moveset there. I mean, it works. It works. It's just, I don't know. I mean, that was somebody who had, you know, 4 million health. What about when they got 14 million health? It'd take a lot longer than that. So we can take a look back inside at the rest of what Dolph's got. So even his finisher here, deal 132,000 damage to try to pin the opponent. So you could buff that out with a move damage trainer with uh, a move damage percent metal, double takedown, or, you know, whatever. Double takedown would buff the damage up, but that wouldn't be the play. You'd try and double armor, honky tonk man. But what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? What did you say, man? Like four, 400K, something like that? I don't think that's going to hold a pin. And it doesn't help you recycle at all. So you have another finisher that chooses yellow. But that's going to be a cascade pin every time, no matter what. Not a lot else you could do. 
make six random purple into green, make eight random power gems into reinforced gems. He had nothing before this, and at least now he has something. So, you know, what can you do? But, I mean, do you guys run Showboat Dolph? Let me know down in the comment section below if there was something else that you think he could do. This is what I think is going to be his best, and I don't know. I hope we get a way to make that usable in the future, because uh, he's actually usable now. So, until next time, y'all. Peace.